Hey everyone, welcome. Oh, wrong screen. Well, I was going to start with just chatting, but this is welcome to my stream this afternoon. I finally made it. I had a work call come up at the last minute, so I'm running late as always, but I'm really excited to check out this cute little game that I've been watching for quite some time now called Baron Breakfast. It is in a, this is a demo, so it's their little alpha version. This title screen right here is really adorable though. Um, I don't know if there's music. I need to click into the game, but... There is, there's some music. So I was clicked out of the game. But um, hold on, let me switch to just trading real quick first. This cute little theme song. I might have to make it louder for you all. It's really soft. Okay, let's see. Just trying. There we go. Okay, I did want to start off here because there's a couple of people I wanted to thank um, that I saw follow. So. Dirk Fox followed me, I think it looks like five hours ago. So thank you, Fox, fellow Fox, for the follow. And thank you to Bandcamp, who just followed like 10 minutes ago. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate it. So hope you're all doing good today. It's Wednesday. I had a really long work day. I had meetings all day. So I'm a little, a little exhausted. But it's okay. It's over now. Now we can play some cute video games. Oh, hi, Bandcamp. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? I am ready to just not have to think about work for the next, you know, 12 hours. <laughs> Pretty good, that's good. Tired, me too. I'm really tired. I still haven't recovered from waking up too early yesterday, I don't think, which is crazy. But I got to watch the Nintendo E3, so that's why I woke up so early. But thank, yeah, thank you again for the follow, I appreciate it. I can't believe I'm at, like, I think I'm at 160 now? 160 followers? I can't believe it. I just suddenly had a growth spurt, which is really nice. Y'all are too sweet for following me. It was good. Yes, it was. Probably one of the better shows of this E3. Nintendo and Bethesda Xbox were my favorite shows, I think. So. Nintendo's was very exciting. I took a lot of notes. <laughs> And uh, I like the Wholesome Direct too, with all the indie games. That's like my speed of games too, so. The Xbox One is good, I liked it. It's not a lot of games were for me because it's a lot of, you know, FPS type of games, but it was still exciting because there was so much, so much. It was just a lot of games. They showed off so many games. So I cannot fault them for that at all. And when you just show off that many games, it makes the conference or the presentation so exciting. You can't... Yes, that was good. Yeah, the, the Wholesome Direct was good. I really like that one. That's kind of my type of games. So um, that's why we're checking out this demo today. This Baron Breakfast. This one looks really like my speed. I don't know how long this demo is. So I'm not sure how long the stream's going to be. I figure if the demo is really short, I might... I've been wanting to check out the Disguise 6 demo too, so we might switch over to that on the Switch if um, if this one is really short. I have no idea how long this demo is. So it just came out today. But I've been watching this game since they first talked about it like several months ago. So I'm excited to see what it has to offer. It looks really cute. So... I might have to bump up the audio for y'all. The game is really soft on my end. But yeah, I just wanted to decompress for a second before I start playing. I literally just finished work. You didn't realize there was a demo? Yeah, they just announced it, that it was going live. I think it was maybe yesterday or two days ago that they were going to do a demo. So it looks really cute already. This artwork is really adorable. I think I do like, I really appreciate indie games. So... They're really great. And indie games are some of my favorite, favorite, favorite titles. Okay, let me adjust. I'm gonna adjust some options on this really quick. You'll probably hear the background music, but it's really soft. So let me try and get the volume up a little bit. It's really soft. Let's just get it up there. Okay. All right, there we go. That should be good when we start. All right. Make sure my settings are all good. 
Okay, let's let's give this a go. I want to see what this is going to be like. Let me switch over to the right scene. All right, I might have to move my my interface, my overlay around a little bit if it's blocking too much stuff, but we'll see. It's so cute. The artwork is so cute. Just looking at this already. I don't know if I can play with the controller or not. I have my I have my Xbox controller hooked up, so we'll see. I don't know if you can't hear the game at all. It's pretty soft on my side. And when I click out of the game, it stops. Sorry. Um, let me let me bring up the volume all the way, actually. Okay. I just don't want it to like. I have my desktop volume controlled, so it shouldn't. It's quiet. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Mm. Let me see. Well, let's start the game and see how how loud the game itself is. New data. It's really cute. I have to make sure the desktop volume isn't too loud because I have alerts tied to the desktop volume too, so. The three friends find themselves farther than they've ever gone before. Can you hear the voice? How do I hit next? Oh, space to continue. Past the soothing meadows and the quiet streams. Even past that one weird rock with all the moss. I'm so cute. The new world they found was strange and terrifying, filled with uh, soothing meadows and quiet streams. It was pretty cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> Only one of them is modest. Just like them. Annie, the Carillion Hound. Brave but careful. Will, the poor Will. <laughs> the poor Will. <laughs> Apathetic on the outside. Yet surprisingly, even more so on the inside. Wow. And Hank, the brown bear. Just as cheerful and curious now as he was two shrubs ago. <laughs> so but cute. Maybe a little anxious due to the promise he had made back home. No, Mom, I'm not going to narrate everything out loud all day. <laughs> so is this the bear talking? Also, definitely not going to wander too far in an adventurous fashion. I promise. Suddenly, they catch a glimpse of something that they'd rarely seen back home. A sliver of white smoke. Oh, it's like, what is that? Not the kind that occasionally wafts through a stormy summer night. When the sky cracks open and the sparks glow bright. No, this was but the gentle, soothing smell of a human-made flame. I like this guy's voice. Look how cute they are! I love this this art style. Oh, okay, I have to talk now. Yep, definitely been here before. I recognize that bush and those branches. You always recognized at least one bush. I think we should be 40 paces north of the trail. The big oak should be just around the corner. You're a big oak. Okay, well, come on. Let's let's get a little bit more excited here. Wait. That rock wasn't there last time. We are lost forever. Oh, I can make a selection? How do I make a selection? Oh, I can pick. The bear waddle is great, I know. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, that rock is definitely new, I'll say that. Yeah, that rock is definitely new. Don't be silly, I know exactly where we are. We'll just turn the corner and see that big calming oak tree. Unlike the tiny catas catastrophizing facizing ball of feathers we see now you can't even recognize your own stupid tail will that's fair <laughs> why is will with us he's so negative i need my water stay hydrated so my throat doesn't go Um, what's the big, what's with the big mossy boulder? With all the windows. 
You feel seen? <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you Will? <laughs> That's smoke. That's not a boulder, you doof. That a big stinking cabin. And smoke from a cabin means... People. I'll be nice. People? Not really, but sometimes. I think we're all Will sometimes, for sure. People? Like, human people? I think you're right, Hank. We should probably go back. No, 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 no. There hasn't been a person in this valley in like a billion years. A person. I guess that's a human person with a capital P. No. Now it's interesting. We better investigate. Hank? Now wait just a minute. Wazda to move. Okay. Can I click through this? Zoom with the mouse wheel. Oh, okay. E to interact. Okay, that's that's pretty normal. Quick save F5. Quick load F9. There is no auto save. Oh no. I'm going to forget to save. F5 to quick save. Okay. Quest log L. Okay. Got it. So I can zoom? I can zoom! Well, there's basically two zooms. <laughs> and F5 is save. Oh, it said quick save. Okay, good. Oh, I'm moving. I guess let's zoom in. Let's see his waddle. Up close. This is very pretty. Let's just go to the house, I guess. This is so good, isn't it? It's so cute already. <gasps> Look at the house! I love when games have so much personality. This game is full of personality already. Oh. I can turn the light on? Moldy chest. There's an apple. Ingredient. Okay, let's take the apple, I guess. Oh. I didn't even see her there. <laughs> Crap. Hi. Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Oh, who's there? Oh. Why, what an unexpected visit. My, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. <laughs> His face, he looks so scared. That's alright, you're not the first critter to wander in my little home. Don't be afraid. Uh, let's just say who are you? Who are you? Bear noises? Oh, I guess she can't understand us. Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. <laughs> I am Barbara. I have been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Okay, I guess this is not the real world. Do you know where you are? Although I guess we knew it was the not the real, the real world because we have a talking bear. What's a blue shag? <laughs> bear noises? Oh, of course you don't. You're not from around here. I would have known. I was expecting her to not be able to see very well and assume you were human. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess she can see I'm a bear, though. Well, you're on the edge of the Pinefall Resort. Or perhaps I should say what it used to be. Oh, story time? Pinefall Resort used to be the bee's knees, the talk of the town. Oh, there it is. Right up until everything came crashing down. Now it's all ruins and garbage. Okay, the text went by a little fast. Oh, how I wish I could see it full of life again. There's lots of buildings. I see sparkly things. Say, you look like a robust gentleman. I certainly am. Apparently a spotted shag is a type of cormorant in New Zealand. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I have learned something. I am a robust gentleman. I'm a bear. Gentle, uh, gentle creature? Oh, thank you. I don't suppose you'd be interested in more than looking for berries or rummaging under rocks, would you? Uh, who are you calling robust? I highly appreciate berries. Excited bear noises. That's wonderful news. Why is wonderful capitalized? I always knew the forest would come in handy one day. With your help, I think we could convince travelers to stop by our little corner of the forest again. least I could do after breaking into your big mossy boulder. Yeah, let's be nice. Soft bear noises. Oh. 
First things first, no one's going to want to sleep in this wreck. We need to clear out the eastern cabin of all the debris inside. It's a lot, but somebody's got to do it. Head straight south from here. It's the first building you'll see. You can't miss it. Make sure you get everything. Upstairs too. Well, go on then. I have a quest. Looting and foraging. Pinefall holds many types of loot. Oh, I'm, but my chat is blocking that. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me... Grab. Where is there no, like... Okay, you can see the objective down there. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just read it for y'all. I don't want to move my... I don't want to move my stuff around. <laughs> I'm lazy, sorry. Pinefall holds many types of loot, including indoors and outdoors. Press E while next to the debris, plants, or other objects to loot them. Press shift and left click to split stacks. Oh, okay. Press the loot all button to quickly loot everything in a container. You can find all sorts of materials and ingredients through foraging and scavenging. Oh no, this sounds just like the kind of game that I would like. Can I go into your room? I can. Oh, it is turning the light on and off. My head somehow went behind the shelf. We won't say anything about that. Excuse me, coming through. Can I open the fridge? Can I take her stuff? Should I take Granny's stuff? She has grilled cheese and cornflakes and sweet chamomile tea in here. I'm gonna take it. Oh no, I see sparklies everywhere. What am I taking? Gathered, oh, six garbage. Oh, I'm picking up garbage. Well, let's just go, I don't know, like, oh, there's a day counter on the top right. I didn't see that. And a temperature. It's 27 degrees Celsius, which I have no idea what that means because I only know Fahrenheit. <laughs> I don't know how hot that is. Okay. Well, let's pick up all the garbage. Oh, I can do it. Well, my chat really is blocking everything. That's all right. Slab rubber, board plastic, and panel glass. Okay, let's take it. Copper. I'm guessing I can make things with all this stuff? Oh no. Plywood. Plywood, cotton, and nails. Yeah, probably. This is, seems like it's gonna be my type of game. More stuff. Yeah, let's just loot everything. This is a shopping cart. I'm getting rubber and wood and iron and stuff. Wood. It's a little TV. <laughs> oh, look how cute he is. When he's looting. Where did my friends go anyway? Did they just leave me to deal with the old lady and they ran off? She just hit the fourth floor, right? So... Clear out the eastern cabin. I guess I could check upstairs too. So cute. I just want to pick up all the garbage outside too now. Excuse me while I pick up every single thing possible. I have no idea what all this stuff is going to be for, so... My my bear must be pretty smart because he's dismantling all this stuff and keeping the important materials, so. This is very relaxing so far. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, it's crossed off now on my list. Cool, let's go back. I'm on day two now. Oh, it's past midnight. 
What are all these things? Strawberries. Oh, I didn't look at that. Herbs. More strawberries. Okay, well, I'm getting totally distracted now. Mint. Ooh, I love mint. I could go for a mojito. I haven't had one of those in forever. Hello, I'm back. Did you clear out all the garbage in the eastern cabin? I sure did. All clear. Relatively certain bear noises. Wonderful. I haven't seen it that clean and you didn't look at it. How do you know? Let's see about getting it fixed up. Now that it's done, I'll just need a bit of help to fix the place up. I'll need some of the things you found through the rubble. If you don't have enough, try going through the other buildings. Okay. When you're done, go southwest near the river and grab me some stone bricks. Go up the stream if you don't find enough. Make sure you avoid that weasley little raccoon next to the ruins. Always trouble that one. A raccoon? Ten stone bricks. Okay. Oh, so I already got everything she needed for the list. I see. I guess that's why she went right into the next quest. That was a little confusing. I gotcha, though. This is really cute so far. Very relaxing. There's no monsters trying to kill me. Except possibly a raccoon. I'm just going to pick up all these things because... I figure I might need them, right? Is there a map? Okay, there's a log. Um... Wall visibility, build, inventory, your cabin options. I guess I guess not, not yet. She said the river was to the south, right? Here it is. Marble. Marble pile underscore one. <laughs> This is absolutely adorable. Oh. Oh. Loot. Oh, sorry. Clicked out of the game. Okay. Loot all. That's the one thing about PC games that I always forget. If you click, because I'm trying to keep an eye on my stream at the same time, so if I click off the game, it stops. Uh. What did you say there were rocks here or something? Stone bricks. There's some. Some more herbs. Herbs. I don't actually say herbs, but I like saying it that way because I sound more sophisticated. <laughs> I wonder if you can fish? I would love if you could fish. Bears can fish with their hands, so, you know, maybe I can just jump into the river and grab grab some fish with my hands. Can I? Oh, I can't leave that way. I'm not sure if I grabbed enough bricks. Did I? Where's my inventory? Uh, I only have... I only have three. Anthropomorphic characters, but the fish are still fish. Yeah, there's no fish... There's no merman. <laughs> Potato. Okay, well, I guess I need to... She said there's bricks here, but there were only three bricks here. So maybe I need to go look around some more in the broken down houses. I love the trees. They look really cool. This music is very relaxing. I might turn it up just a bit, because it's probably kind of soft for you guys. Animal Crossing, <laughs> yes. There's no fish villagers. Hold on, sorry. I'm gonna... Just a bit. Let's see how that sounds for you. Because the music is very nice. I want to make sure you folks can hear it a little bit. That's true, there are octopus villagers. I wish there were shark villagers.
I need me some bricks. Bird, fox, dog, anteater, elephant, villagers. Yeah. And your hyper realistic fish. <laughs> yes, that's true. The fish do look really good. <laughs> I am not finding any bricks. I'm finding lots of other junk though. I probably don't have to clean this up, but we might as well do it. I don't know how big my inventory is. Or wait, is that my... And bugs, yeah. I love catching fish and bugs in Animal Crossing. I feel really bad. I kind of totally abandoned my um, New Horizons Island. <laughs> it's been it's been quite some time since I played. Like, a lot of time since I played. My villagers probably all hate me. Playing Harvest Moon want to clear the farm immediately. Yeah. Or Stardew Valley. Like, oh my god, Stardew Valley. Don't get me started on Stardew Valley. That game is just too good. Yeah, let's clear everything out. Why not? We have time, I think. I don't know. Maybe I have time. The demo didn't tell me how long it actually is or if it's going to like kick me out at a certain point. I hope it doesn't. Time demos make me very nervous, so, you know. I want to take my time kind of enjoying everything. Okay. Oh, there's nothing down in the basement. I still need bricks. Maybe if I follow the coast over here, I can find some more. Were these here before? I feel like they might have come back or something. I love his walk, it's so cute. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here. How big is this place? Pick up all this rubbish. There's some more rocks. This is just reinforcing that you need this game. I'm glad. If I can convince anyone else to support this game, I have done my job. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. I don't know if there's a time crunch for me. It doesn't feel like it right now. There's another brick. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly. I might get lost going back, which would be pretty funny. I know I generally have to go back in like a northeasterly direction, so I should be able to find my way back. And this doesn't seem like the type of game where there's monsters that are going to attack me at night, so at least I hope not. <laughs> Oh, more bricks. Am I getting close yet? Uh, nine, just need one more. Okay. There's so much stuff to pick up, but for the sake of just seeing more of the game, I will get enough bricks and then go back. All right, we did it. Let me pick up this garbage. I can't leave this garbage. What's this? I can't pick that up, I guess. Why is there so much garbage here? Oh my goodness. Oh, what are these? Onions. Oh, there's the raccoon. Where Should I really be avoiding him or? Hi. Took. Hey, you big fella. I see you're dealing with old Green Hat over there. Do you know her? Oh, I can talk now. 
Yeah, she isn't exactly new to the scene. I might have something that could be of interest. Hmm? Just check my dumpster. But don't even think about getting wise on me. <laughs> Look at that face. It's terrifying. If you want any of the trash in there, you need to get me some valuables. You can find them all over the place. And I hear the smelly ones leave them all over too. Now scram, I've got an image to maintain here. <laughs> okay. Furniture? Oh, can I trade him trash for furniture? Excuse me? Oh, okay, well, let's let's not deal with him yet because I don't know what I need. Nice dumpster, I know. I guess he values trash more than the furniture. Mushrooms. There's lots of placeholder text still that I'm noticing, but this is still a demo, so totally understandable. It is pretty clever, isn't it? I like that. Okay, I need to stop looting things. I'm going to be doing this forever. Hey, Granny, I'm done. Got everything? Caught them all. Yep. Approving bear noises. Amazing how much you can carry with just two paws. Do you have pockets on that thing? What, what, what thing? My coat? I guess I have some kind of a endless pocket somewhere because I am holding a lot of junk right now. This granny is so cute with her little floppy hat. Let's do this. Do what? Are you going to do something cool? Yeah, maybe she thinks I'm a furry. I'm just all dressed up in a, a suit. That's actually a pretty good thought, you know. Phew, that wasn't as easy as I thought. What did you do? I can't see. I bet you didn't think the old woman had it in her. Go ahead, check it out. Then come back so we can have a little chat. Oh, you fixed everything, like the windows and stuff. Cool. Good job, Granny. Oh, what is this? Eastern cabin. Congrats on repairing the eastern cabin. This is the only cabin available in this demo to build stuff in. Okay. The western and southern cabins will be unlocked later in the full game. Oh, right. Good to know. So at least I know the boundaries of the demo now. That's good. All right, what's up? So what do you think? Definitely spacious. I'm going to say that was impressive because that was impressive. Approving bear noises. Ah, shucks, you're going to make me blush. That knocked the wind out of me though. I better go have a little rest. Before I go, I've got one more thing for you. What? Some pants? Where are you going? Is that a workbench? This little table will help you- why did she walk down there? <laughs> this little table will help you make things, but of course it's only a tool. You're going to need to learn how to craft stuff yourself. I'll help you get started. Come back to me after you've crafted one. Bedroom- a bedroom- a bedroom bed. If you need materials, there's plenty of old debris lying around in the town, torn down buildings. A bedroom bed. As opposed to a non-bedroom bed. Interact with the crafting table to open the crafting menu. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm blocking the tutorials, y'all, but I'm just going to read them to you. There are plenty of blueprints around Pinefall to find and learn. You'll need them to craft stuff. Okay, so this is blueprints kind of game. Once you've learned something, make sure you have the necessary materials and then craft away. So I have a blueprint, and I need the work table. Select a recipe. Plywood. <laughs> Wait, I need only one and one? Really? Craft your first bed. Ready. Visit Barbara to turn it in. Oh. So where's the bed? Oh, it's my inventory. Okay, cool. I'm hoping they're going to add like some kind of noises or something for the crafting sequence there, but... That's easy, at least. Hi. What's up? 
Did you craft a bed yet? I did. Nails and all. Yeah, that would be good. It's Again, this is a demo, so they probably don't have it finalized, but just to have a little animation or sound effect just to be like, oh yeah, we're done. It's amazing how important sound cues are. They're very important. That's not half bad for someone who basically wears oven mitts all the time. Now let's put that to good use. Doing what? Can we put a bed in the house? Wait. You didn't give me any instructions. I don't think I've asked what your name is. How very rude of me. Bartholomew the first. Now let's 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 tell the truth. My name is Hank. Bear noises. Oh, such a beautiful name. I have a hard time remembering these things, of course, so I'll just call you Cubby, if that's alright. Sure. No, not really. What? Bear noises. Wonderful. Well, Cubby, if you want people to come over and stay with us, they're going to need a place to sleep. Here's a little bit of money, but don't spend it all before we can make some more. We'll need it to build things. Go in that cabin and build me a functional bedroom. Okay. B for build mode. Press B to enter build mode, a free camera mode that allows you to build things. Choose whether or not you'd like to build rooms or place objects from your inventory. Okay. Build a room selected from the list. Oh. So you can't see it there, but there's comfort, water, food, utility, and special. Draw the blueprint footprint of the room and hit next. Make sure you meet the minimum size. Two by three is minimum size for a bedroom. Okay. Or for, yeah, for a bedroom. Place a doorway for your room and hit done. This is more involved than I thought it was going to be. Click and place furniture objects from your inventory into the room, only in build mode. Rotate objects with R. Most rooms demand a mandatory object before they can be functional. You can pause building a room if you don't have the mandatory object then return to place it. Okay. Click a room to edit its contents or delete it altogether. The rooms are usually pretty particular about which objects you can place in them. So we can't place a toilet in the bedroom. Yeah, so that's just good to know. I wouldn't want a toilet in my bedroom either. Decoration objects have no restrictions. You can place them wherever. Cool, let's try it out. So we can just make a bedroom in here. B. Don't use bedpans. You know, I've never had to use a bedpan, so... Um... I don't know if that's good or bad. Okay, am I in build mode now? Build mode. Um, oh, here we go. Comfort. Comfort, I guess? Single bedroom. So it costs gold. And minimum is 2 by 3 Wouldn't this be a very tiny bedroom, though? It would be pretty unusual if you did. <laughs> I never have. I know people who are sick have to use those, but I've luckily never been sick enough to have to use one, so... Um, I kind of want to make it bigger. 2 by 3 seems really small, but... How much money do I even have? I don't even see. There's nothing here that indicates how much money I have. And the cost is changing up there in the... Okay, Bandcamp, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you stopping in. I am going to save the stream recording on my YouTube channel, so if you want to watch more of the, the demo, please go ahead and check that out one. When you can't. Excuse me, thank you for coming in, and thank you again for the follow. Have a good sleep. Okay, so... Oh, well, let's just let's just start with the minimum size, I guess. Um, wait, how do I... How do I cancel? Oh. Place door. Okay. There. This is a tiny ass bedroom. But. How is the bed gonna even fit in here? That's tiny. It's just the bed. <laughs> Oh, I have 1500. I wonder if I can make it bigger. Okay, well, that's that's is it functional now? Do we know? Plus five, plus one. A bedroom bed. How do I get out of build mode? Do I just hit B? 
escape. Uh, how do I exit build mode? Excuse me. Oh, there. There we go. Okay, cool. That was a little unintuitive, but <laughs> I got it. I figured it out. This is so tiny. I wonder what she's going to say. Is she going to say this bedroom is way too small? Hey, Granny, I made your tiny little bedroom. Did you build a nice bedroom? Uh, sure. Excited bear noises. Brilliant. It's not the skyline heights, but it'll do. Now let's see about getting this place up and running again. Go and build room and builds. Okay, I did that. I did all that stuff. Craft and place. Craft and place any one bed, which is a main comfort object. You can place additional comfort objects in the bedroom, but lower level beds can only sustain one. Interesting. Okay. Craft and place a higher level bed for the ability to place multiple additional comfort objects. Interesting. Well, I need to expand that bedroom because it is tiny. Can I? Um, I wonder how to... How do we edit existing rooms? That's my inventory. There's got to be a way to edit. Oh, here. Edit? Hmm. Place furniture will return to your inventory. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's make it a little bigger because that was really small. 300. Draw blueprints. Place the door. Place furniture. Okay. So it doesn't look like my money is getting... I mean, I know it's getting removed, but it will be cool to see some kind of indication that the money is getting removed as well. Just so it's a little bit more intuitive there, but... Cool though, that's pretty easy. I like that you can just do it without having to, you know, the whole Animal Crossing thing where you have to pick up your items and put it down, like, manually. Okay, so, what can I make? Let's see. What is this? Oh, there's garbage there, okay. So what's on my to-do list? Nothing? You got something for me, Granny? That looks spectacular. I can barely believe it. Barely believe it. I think the resort is just about ready for its grand reopening. I, I, there's, just, there's just one last thing we need. Be a deer and go fetch me a couple of things so I can fix the sign up front, will you? You should have most of it from the rubble, but if you don't, just check the buildings. What about that bucket of paint? Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw that damned raccoon with it. Garbage. Took's garbage shop. There's garbage everywhere and in Pinefall that's money. Press E to loot it. Oh, so garbage is money? Interesting. Visit Took's dumpster diving display to buy decorative objects for your cabin, including lights. Okay. Keep an eye out for guests who occasionally drop garbage, which affects your deco score. Rude. Don't just throw garbage in the ground, people. Oh, so this is all money. I should definitely be picking it up then. Okay, so... I can buy things from from his little shop, or it's funny how she says to stay away from the raccoon, but now she's like, oh, go talk to him. <laughs> Did you change your mind so quickly already? This is really cute so far, though. I like this casual pace. And you know, it is still a demo, y'all, so there's going to be little hiccups here and there. But so far, pretty cool. I do I do feel like it needs more sound cues, though, for doing things. That will make it much more immersive, you know? Um, oh, I can't craft anything else. That's right, I don't have recipes. So why don't we walk around this area and just grab any garbage we can find and 
bring it over to Mr. Raccoon. Mr. Took. Which, I'm just going to ignore the fact that that's essentially a conglomeration of Tom Nook. I can't pick that up. What is that? I guess that's not rubbish. Okay. Might as well, right? If it's money, I want all the money. If it's currency. Obtain a bucket of red paint. Oh, okay, see. I didn't even see that was my objective. The flow is a little bit wonky right now, but again, it is a demo, so just reminding myself that. Um, where was he again? I know he's down here somewhere. Where are you at? Where are you at? At least it doesn't look like this demo is timed, which is nice. It just restricts what you can actually do. That I don't mind. Obviously, right? I'm just going to take everything because now I know that this is... And I feel like this stuff is replenishing. Because I feel like I looted this already. I'm wondering if the day has anything to do with anything either. I have to remember to adjust my sound back on my desktop volume when I'm done with this because it's probably louder than it's supposed to be at the moment. Yeah, let's just pick up all this stuff, why not? It looks like this river is the edge of the map, so that's nice. There's a barrier. A boundary. This is rubbish, but I can't grab it. you are so is this all of these have little apple cores but oh so it's just okay valuables valuables and money trash is valuables so I can pick up a lot of stuff well she needs the paint right so let's take that um, look, I can I can do a welcome mat. I have lots of garbage. Maybe I should just... Maybe I should wait. I don't know if she's going to ask me to get specific decorations or what, but... I love that I'm a bear. Callisti, welcome. Hello. How are you doing? This looks cute. It is very cute. It is a demo for Bear and Breakfast, a game that I have been watching forever. And it is turning out to be something that I think I could get really addicted to. So, did you get the materials I asked for? I did. I have the red paint. Excited bear noises. Oh, Gamer Wolf, welcome. Hello. How are you all doing today? This game. It reminds me of like, it's like a, um, almost like my time at Porsche, you know, or like a farm sim or a life sim game. I'm so happy. Thanks to you. We can finally, I missed it. Pinefall Resort is now officially open for business. I only have one crappy little bedroom in there. The tourists are just pouring in. <laughs> You're basically a bear and managing and helping this old lady like resort restore this resort stupendous thank you this is such a relief i i don't think i've told you a lot about this place have i well i don't think it would do much harm pinefall resort used to be a magical place voice acting 
I'm a real bear, yes. A real bear. I think. Jewel of the valley. I could be a person in a costume, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm a real bear. Charming and beautiful. If you didn't mind the dictatorship. The dictatorship? What? Well, we tried to keep it that way at least. You see, it had a common and unfortunate affliction. Other people. <laughs> Other people. But Humans. As bad as this uh, contamination was, it was also necessary. The bear can talk to other animals, apparently, but when he talks to the old lady, it's just he just makes bear noises, I guess. But she somehow understands him anyway. The little dung these pests left behind was of great value. <laughs> okay. And it made for fertile soil to grow and grow. But even so, the resort was beholden to its cruel owners. So we had to give up part of the treasure. For the greater good, I suppose. When the regime fell 15 years ago, everything came crashing down after it. The and regime. Suddenly, the visitors stopped coming. Oh. The wealth ran out. That poor teddy bear. The world collapsed. The world collapsed. That's so dramatic. The world collapsed. And now all that's left are run down buildings and piles of garbage. And me alone. Ever since. Oh. Why do you stay here? Oh, Calisti, I'm doing fine tonight. Thank you. I, I wasn't ignoring you, I promise. Just watching the story unfold. It's a little bit strange, but we'll see how it goes. Well, that's th that's the gist of it anyway. Anyway, no matter. We have more work to do. What? Are you going to give me a objective? Pinefall Resort is officially reopened for business. We just built one crappy little bedroom. Guess. Guess will now request to stay at your bed and breakfast. Wait, I... Can I decorate the room first? It's just a... There's just one little bed in there. Wait, hold on. What else do you want me to do? Now we're ready to get our first guest. I'm sure there's someone requesting a s stay by now. Okay. Come back to me once you book someone. But, okay, wait. Wait, 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 Grandma, because this bedroom is just one bed in it. It all starts with one bedroom. <laughs> what? Okay, wait, hold on. Hold your horses, Granny. I don't want to open it yet because that is not up to my standards. The rooms list will show all functional bedrooms you've built, okay? Stay requests will show all the guests that are currently booking for a room to stay. Cabin reputation will show you all the ratings guests leave at the end of their stay. Oh, they're gonna rate me? To assign a guest to a room, check out the score requirements and hit accept. Oh, so they have certain requirements. Interesting. Select a bedroom that meets all the guest requirements or don't. I won't judge. I'm guessing it's better if it meets their requirements. Well, let's see, because I have assigned a guest to a bedroom. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me do some things first, because... So can you give me things that I need? Oh, I see. So it's kind of like The Sims. So these these items add different things to the room. I get it. So all of this just adds prettiness. Oh, look, I can buy pants. It's a hundred just for pants. I don't need pants. Okay, um, toolbox. Yeah, this is all decorative stuff. Well, let's, let's go see what the guest wants. Maybe we can actually give them what they want. I highly doubt it, but... Um... Where are they? The 
Look at all this garbage. Hang on. Pick up all this garbage. This is really cute so far. For sure, this feels like a demo. Like, it's very disjointed. And there's not a lot of flow to the gameplay. But um, it's still... It's still... I like the concept, you know. It's kind of just, uh, it's moving a little quickly as far as telling me to do things, but... I'm just picking up garbage because apparently garbage is money in this game, so... I would like more garbage. Yeah, she wasn't kidding. This place is a mess. Okay. No drop frames today. Yes. Good. I'm always happy with that. Alright. So, where are the... Accept a guest. Assign a guest to the bedroom. Has asked you to go to the guest queue and accept your first guest. What did I just do there? Inventory. Where is the guest queue? I mean, I don't see anybody here. Where's all the guests, Granny? Come back when you've invited your first guest. How? How to do? How do? Booking guests here. Guests will not request to stay. Do I have to go outside? I need an adult. Someone help me. <laughs> I need an adult. I really like this art style though, it's so cute. I like this kind of whimsical looking artwork. Well, I know you're here, but... Oak is around here somewhere. What? Oh no, you're still, you're still standing there. Being completely useless. Okay. There's no indication of where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just going to walk around until I find something. Oh, here's a bus stop. More garbage. Yeah, I really feel like I'm missing the sound effects. I'm a pair of granny, what do you expect? Yeah, she's kind of expecting a lot out of me as a forest animal. Okay. Where is the people? Okay, well I know I can't build in this one here, so... Yeah, I don't... I don't see anyone. So, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the raccoon and I'm going to buy stuff just because and make my bedroom prettier because why not? I have no idea what I'm doing otherwise, so. <laughs> I thought she said she was going to fix the sign. I guess she did. Hey, you big fella. I see you're dealing with old green hat over there. Okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We already had this discussion. Yeah, because there's all this stuff I can get. Oh, I see. I have. I do have maximum inventory. What would be nice to put in a bedroom? Coffee table? Can we make a better bed? Can I buy this? 
Yeah. Cherry blossoms. I guess we shouldn't overload the room with uh, plants. What is this? A critter totem? I guess it needs a lamp, huh? It needs some light. Uh, we have a coffee table. Is that a coffee table? That's not really a coffee table. Can put a rug as well. Let's see. We have a pink cherry blossoms and a wooden table. Let's get maybe this medium rug here. Yeah. And what else? I have so much garbage. I wonder if garbage is going to be this plentiful in the actual game. Adirondack and shelves. I don't know what that is. Oh, look, a bear shelf. I want that. A bear shelf. And this little portrait of a bear. <laughs> Just because. I would like to invite a guest in, but I don't see anybody. Maybe because it's nighttime? Where is everyone? Has there been bear puns yet? Sadly, no. There's been a lack of bear puns. This game could use more bear puns. Okay, so build mode. Um, what is this water? Oh, bathroom. I can build a bathroom? How big does it have to be? Three by three? It's kind of a big bathroom. Maybe like that I don't know a door do we want to put the door can I put doors like oh they have to be on the front I guess toilets I can place shower oh the shower is a little tub that's funny and a toilet and a sink but I don't have any of those things though. But I can put this stuff in the house. What should this scene do with it? Excuse me? Oh, it's because I'm working on the bathroom. Okay, no, no. Uh. I have to admit, the navigation is a little clunky here. I want to edit this bedroom. How do I do it? Utility room, no. Inventory, how do I? I want to place these pieces of furniture in my room. Um, let's see. Door. Maybe if I do... I also don't know why it like brings me all the way down there. No, I don't want to make a new one. Hmm. How do I edit my room? I just want to put furniture in my room. Wait, maybe I have to... There we go. Okay. I was clicking on it earlier. I'm not sure why it didn't let me do it back then. Okay, let's see. Now can I put stuff in? Yes. Okay, that's at least easy. Can I put this on top of that thing? No. This little bear shelf, can I rotate? Oh, I can, but I want to see the bear. There we go. This can go on the wall. Oh, 
Right here. Cute. I can't put this in the room for some reason. Why? Can that place here collides with the wall? Excuse me, there's no wall there. That's so much better. See, that looks more like a good bedroom. There's things in it. <laughs> All right, let's exit build mode. Can I turn the light on? Oh, I can. So cute. So I can I can show the walls too. Oh. Oh, that wall looks so ugly. So if I'm in here, oh, if I'm in here, can I put furniture inside? This room is incomplete. Edit to fix it. Oh, it needs it needs these things: toilet, showers, and sinks. I wonder if I'm going to have access to those kinds of things in the demo. I'm not sure. Because at my at here, I can only I only have my bedroom. My bedroom. My bedroom bed. <laughs> How do I do it, Barbara? Help me. Where are the guests? I need some assistance. Tell me what to do. I'm just a mere I'm just a mere bear. I don't understand your weird human your weird human customs. How do I invite a guest to the hotel? <laughs> I don't know how. Okay, wait, let's... The the quest thing... Here. So there's... Is this guy around here somewhere? This guy with the mustache? Where are you? Are you just wandering around somewhere, dude? In this... In this... Area? Or can I interact with the sign? No. Where are you, sir? I cannot find the human. He's hiding from me. I'm just gonna pick fruit because <laughs> wait there's got to be okay where single bedroom oh here stay request that's where it is the game should have told me that he's scared of me I mean you know I look pretty big and intimidating but I'm just a softy you know <laughs> okay so he just needs a room with comfort five okay I should have just they should have told me click on the your cabin button so that I know where to go now I see him. Yeah, sure. You can come here. We can put you in this beautiful room. Where are you? Are you just going to teleport in here? These resources are coming back. Okay, I was right. They are respawning. That's pretty cool. I wonder how quickly they come back. They seem to respawn, like, relatively quickly. The piles of rocks and stuff. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Alright, let's check out our little... Oh, I have to talk to... I have to talk to... Talk to Granny again. Hi. So, did you find the first... The first sucker? Are you admitting to running a scam here, Granny? Yeah, I got someone coming. Approving bear noises. Brilliant. Let's wait for them to show up and then and then see if we can't make their stay a little bit more bearable. There we go. There's a bear pun for you. Bedrooms and comfort. Oh. What happened? Comfort. Okay, so again, sorry, I'm covering the tutorials with my chat, but 
Bedrooms and their objects will determine a guest's comfort score. Hygiene, bathrooms, and their ob objects will determine if a guest's hygiene score. Food, meals placed in serving tables found in dining rooms will determine that score for guests. I did not set up any of these things. Heat. An, uh, oh. An active heater in a utility room will maintain a guest's heat score. Oh. Decoration objects will determine how happy a guest is with their deco score. Click a guest review after their stay to check out a deep dive of their experience. Oh. Build mode, hover any placed objects to see the stat it gives. Okay, that I saw. Also in build mode, hover any built room to see all the stats it receives or gives. Cool. Okay. But I don't have any recipes. Yes, this game is still in development. This is a demo. This is like alpha version something or other. So the demo just dropped today, so I'm playing it literally the first day it's available. So I'm expecting there to be bugs and stuff. But oh, look, and they just do their own thing. He's sleeping. I can creep on him. There's no dining room. There's no lounge. I'm sorry, sir. We're not a full service resort as of yet. Um, now that the bedroom is sorted, you'll need to start taking care of other needs your guests might have. Tell me, have you ever heard of soap? <laughs> have you ever heard of soap? Um, we're not animals. Yes, I've heard of soap. Obvious bear noises. Of course not. That's all right. <laughs> well, some people haven't heard of it either. So we should make sure we spread the word loud and clear. There's nothing funny about personal hygiene. Excuse me? Go ahead and craft these lovely pieces of furniture and build a pretty little bathroom. Okay. Awesome. You've unlocked crafting recipes. Oh, cool. She's reading me. <laughs> she is. Do I stink? I'm sorry. Go in build mode and build a bathroom. Craft and place a sink, washer, and toilet to make it functional and give hygiene score. Bathrooms only grant their score to the bedrooms in an area around them. The bathrooms have an area of effect? Excuse me? Okay. That's kind of cool. Let's give this poor guy a bathroom. Um, bathroom washer. Oh, I have tons of materials. Okay. Uh, washer, sink, and a toilet? Did I not do the toilet? Okay. Alright. Let's give you... Oh, this bathroom is so small, though. Let's make it bigger. Um, oh god, I'm gonna get confused here again. Build mode. Edit. Um, oh, it's not paused? I... I want to pause it while you're... Well, excuse <laughs> He's just going to do things while I'm building. Okay, well. Um, well, let's just put the stuff in. Put the wash basin in. This is going to be a tiny-ass bathroom. Sink and a toilet. There you go. Okay. I would have liked to make the room bigger, but... Oh wait, yeah, this is how to do it. That's a little bit unintuitive too. I just might want to add about how to make the room bigger. You have to kind of push these little buttons and stuff to either increase the size or decrease the size with these buttons. And then, um, yeah, it's a little weird. And okay, then I have to put the door. How are you coming here, dude? Hurry up, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this bathroom better for you, dude. Can you just calm down? Please. I'm trying to make this a nice a nice bathroom for you. Okay, there we go. Are you happy now? That's a pretty big bathroom, actually. It's almost as big as the bedroom. Okay. Are you happy with your bathroom? Are you going to just stand there at the, stare at the wall? Are you stuck in the bathroom now? Are you okay, dude? Do you need some help? <laughs> okay, let's just go talk to Granny. Did you build that bathroom yet? I sure did. Good job. Next up, my favorite thing to ingest. Food? <laughs> okay. 
All right, Grandma. Can you give me some recipes? We should make sure the guests have a place to eat. Whenever I go hungry, I go completely wild. You can't expect people to just walk up to a bush and start chowing down. Really? Well, that's what I do as a bear. Go ahead and make this furniture and build a dining room in the cabin. Make sure it's on the same floor as the bedroom you want it to reach. Those idiots get lost looking through their own pockets. And don't forget to put some meals in the serving table, otherwise there won't be anything to eat for the guests. This is cool. It's very unpolished still, but I like where it's going. Okay, let's read the dining room tutorial. Go and build mode and build a dining room. Craft and place a serving table, a table, and a chair to make it functional and give food score. This granny is totally vicious. Wow. Meals added in the serving table will give out this score to guests. Guests will consume these meals. Raw ingredients will not give food score, only cooked meals will. Lower level serving tables have fewer slots available to fit meals. While higher level serving tables will have more meal slots. Okay. Dining rooms grant their score to the bedrooms on the same floor. Build at least one per floor. Cool. Okay. I think my bathroom is a little too big, but it's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. Serving station. Um, dining table and dining chair. I have tons of materials. It's... I bet it's not going to be this easy to find in the real game, so. Hi, Aki. I see you down there. What are you doing? Are you getting bored? My dog's wandering around. You need something, Bubba? <laughs> he's, he's peering at me from under my monitor. Yes? You're just going to lie down there? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Daddy's streaming right now. Okay. Um, he's still stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you going to die because you're stuck in here? Um, <laughs> okay. I hope he's going to be fine. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, food. I can build a kitchen. Let's just do the dining room right there, I guess. And then... I can put the door... Wait, can I not put the door on the inside? Oh, there we go. Let's put it right there. And... Is that hallway too narrow? I guess we'll see. Um... What did I have to place again? A serving station. Dining table. Oh. Gee, I can see how this can get pretty complex later. And I guess I have to build a kitchen as well? Kitchen. That doesn't have to be too big, right? Maybe we'll just put it next to the bathroom. Like here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what a kitchen needs, so we'll just leave it at that. This this needs to be expanded. It's too small. <laughs> I already need more space. I need to place griddles, cookers, and cutting boards in the kitchen. So it's not done yet. It's not a functional kitchen. Um... I'm concerned about my guest. He's just staring at the corner in the bathroom. Are you alright? I wonder if I trapped him because I built the room that way. I probably should- okay wait, let's try something. I don't want him to be stuck here forever. Let's shrink the bathroom down a couple squares, like this. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm declining requests. Oh no.
Okay, there's there's more going on than I thought. There's like requests coming through and I haven't been seeing them. My guests are like Okay there. Let's see if this makes him move though. He still looks like he's stuck. Decoration and grotesque, excuse me. Temperature is numbing. Is it cold? Are you gonna move? I have no reviews yet. I don't know if my my character my uh, guest is gonna even move. He's just stuck in this position. Unfortunately, let's go talk to the grandma. Did you build a dining room yet? I did. All done. Yummy. You probably don't even have any meals for them. No worries, I can show you in a minute. First, we should make sure no one freezes to death. In case you haven't noticed, it's been getting a little bit chilly in here. Maybe you haven't, but my old bones certainly have. The only thing separating us from savage beasts is the soft kindle of fire. I'm sure you understand. I'm a beast. Don't look at me like that. If people freeze to death, there won't be anyone to pay you. That's certainly true, Granny. Go ahead and make this heater and put it in a nice utility room, would you, darling? Okay. <laughs> Craft and place a heater to make it functional. The heater is loud and messy. It gives a negative deco score. To counteract that effect by placing it, placing other decoration objects around it? That's interesting. Why would you want to decorate your heater room? But, okay. And add fuel to the heater for it to function. Not any wood will do. If the temperature drops under 18C, the heater will kick in and consume fuel, keeping guests cozy. The utility room affects the entire cabin, so building one per cabin is enough. So can I build it upstairs? Because I'm already kind of maxed out down here. Oh, utility. It doesn't need to be that big, right? It just needs the heater. Which I have to go make. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. This is really cute, though. It's, it's unpolished, for sure. It's very unpolished. But the concept is amazing. This is something I could get really into, honestly. I'm already really into it. Um, yeah, it just it really needs more polish, though, for sure. But it's it's a very cool concept. I love the art. It's got me hooked, even though this is just a little demo. Okay, let's build. Um, no, let's edit this room. Put the heater in. There we go. So it's now functional. I can't loot it. So that heats the whole place, right? My guest is still just standing here. Are you okay? Colin and Ty. That's interesting, because he should be getting the bonuses from the bathroom, but he's not. So, I wonder if it's he's glitched. And I wonder if he won't be able to check out, because he's, uh... He's stuck. Did you build a utility room? I did. I'm doing all the stuff you ask, Granny. Astounding. Make sure there's enough good fuel wood good fuel wood to kindle the flame. Not any old wood will do. I think I saw some by that weird looking chicken to the northwest near the river. Be a darling and make sure you've stocked a few logs in the heater, otherwise it won't work. Come back once you're done so I can teach you a thing or two about cooking. There's a lot to do in this demo, actually. Interact with Ipswich's shop to check out his wares. Ipswich only takes real money, but offers exotic ingredients, recipes, blueprints, and fuel. 
You can earn money through hosting guests in your cabin. This is really cool. Okay. Um, well, let's go find this chicken. <laughs> so the chicken takes real money. The raccoon takes garbage. Good to know. <laughs> I'm glad we have an understanding of how animals work. This is a pretty big map. I'm guessing we can build additional buildings too. Eventually. Here you are. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, look at all these people. Jade. <laughs> Why are they all the same name? Jade Sylvester. Twice. And Lewis Mathis. Well, I don't have any rooms for you yet, dudes. I'm sorry. Oh, he has recipes. Oh, he also has the fuel. How much do I need? I guess I'll just buy a few bundles. I don't know. I have plenty of money somehow. Yeah, and all these recipes. Bathroom toilet to bedroom vanity table. Roasted potato. Are these recipes? They're recipes. Oh, french fries. I want that. Mushroom soup. Corn on the cob. You need a recipe for corn on the cob. Hash browns. I'm just going to buy these all. Why not? Roasted potato. That's sure a lot of potato dishes. Mint tea. Oh, I can buy a shirt. I don't want to wear clothes. That's boring. Don't make me a domestic bear, please. Okay, let's go back. Oh, look, there's corn here. We love a good bear and burst. Hi, Ace Fairy Tight. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? This is a very cute game. It's very, it's very like up my alley. It has all these crafting and recipes and there's this other layer dimension where you have guests come to your resort and pay you money depending on how good your resort is. So it's really cool. It's definitely still very alpha mode. You know, it's, it's very clunky right now and there's still some strange like um, placeholders and stuff. But I think when this game is done, it's going to be fantastic. It's already fantastic. How are you doing tonight? Ice fairy type. <laughs> Super cute. You think you could get into it? Uh, I have not heard a release date, date yet. No, unfortunately. I'm not sure when this is going to really come out. I mean, it clearly is pretty far into development if they have this demo ready. So um, I only have very minor complaints about it right now. It's, you know, but it's still in development. So. And again, this is an indie game, so it's made by a very small team. So, it's raining. When did that happen? I could just hang out and play this game for a while, you know? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm happy that work is done and I'm playing this cute demo game with y'all. It's really fun. This, is, this has, been really, has been really cute. I'm just enjoying this a lot. Um, I'm glad Wednesday is over. We're halfway through the week. More than halfway through the week. We made it. Besides talking to wild animals, my second favorite pastime is baking. I just love the smell of a fresh loaf on a dewy morning. But my tiny kitchen is barely enough for myself. I think it's time we scale up this business with some real taste. Craft a couple of things and go make a nice kitchen. Cooker, cutting board... You can make it functional by placing down any one of them, but if you want to be a real cook, I suggest you make both. You'll need some heavier wood planks. I think there's some in that southern cabin over there. Go on, then. Kitchen. Go in build mode and build a kitchen. Craft and place any one of a cutting board, cooker, or griddle. Not all objects are required. Kitchens grant no score and guests will not interact with them. Okay. 
Makes sense. Um, so... Cutting board. I have... I can make that. Cooker. Can make that. Heater. No, not heater. Um, where's the griddle? Oh, she didn't give me the griddle recipe. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that, um... My poor guest is glitched here. Happy hump day! Yes, we made it! We made it to hump day! Excuse me, why can't I... What is his name? Cullen. Cullen is stuck, so... I'm going to... Just invite someone else. Let's invite Jade. <laughs> they both have the same name. This person has higher standards, though. Higher standards for decor, but less standards for hygiene. Oh, I have no available rooms. I need to build more bedrooms. But I, he's he's stuck. Okay, wait, wait. Let's do this. Let's do this first. I wanna let's put down the kitchen stuff, the cooker, and cutting board. Starve him out. I know maybe. Just lock him in a- I'll just build a tiny room around him so he just has nowhere to go and he just eventually dies. Like in The Sims. <laughs> okay. I just want more guests to come because I want a guest that's not glitched, so... I'm gonna just build another bedroom. Up here. Um... Since I don't think I can kick out the... The guy there. There we go. Let's build another bedroom upstairs. And we'll go and get some furniture for it in a second. Okay, let's close it up. Because I want some guests here and he's just, he's just stuck staring at this wall. It's a little creepy. I don't know what's going on here, but I'll just let him be, I guess. Um... Let's make a bed. A bedroom bed. He's, yeah, he's just not moving. I guess he has nothing better to do. Okay, let's put the bed down. Um, so that's functional. So now we can invite our guest. Let's invite Mr. Uh, Jade Sylvester. Okay. What a name. And let's put some fuel in here. Okay, cool. Since our other customer is just, you know, he's stuck in some kind of limbo. Okay, let's go find our little raccoon friend and get some furniture. This is a lot of fun. I'm having so much fun with this. It's still kind of a, you know, obviously a demo, but it's still... It's still fun. Okay, I almost have no inventory space. Um, let's get another bear shelf because it's just so cute. A bear shelf. And how about a cuckoo clock? And cabinet. This is all going to be for the uh, the bedroom. I'm out of space. Completely out of space. A bear bear shelf. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's bear. Just like my character's bum, apparently. I refuse to put any clothes on this bear. I'm not going to bend to the will of this 
domesticated place. Okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, why does it still say there's no fuel? I put fuel in there. This should burn. Hmm. Do I need to light it or something? Just the hat, yeah. That's all he needs. That's his choice. I'm not going to force any more clothes on him. Okay, so let's put stuff in here so that our guests will be happy at some point. How do I... Oh, there. Put that there. Can I put this rug down? There we go. Rug. Um, pot. The bare shelf. It's so cute. Why can't I put it there? Hmm. I wonder if it's because I'm standing in the way. Nice big old potted plant. Shelf. Alright. Okay, cool. Yay. Now... I guess... Hmm... Well, let's go talk to the grandma again. Maybe I can get some food ready. Were you able to build a kitchen? I sure was. Bear noises. Amazing. Well, let me tell you about cooking food. I've been cooking my entire life, but I've never really had to teach, let alone someone without opposable thumbs. Well, no worry. The fastest way to swim is to jump right in the water. Or is that the fastest way to drown? <laughs> dot dot dot. Hank is not amused. Anyway, just go in your new kitchen and try to use any of the appliances you put down. You'll get the hang of it in no time. <laughs> Show me you can cook a boiled egg, some mashed potatoes, and a nice bowl of strawberries. You'll have to go forward some ingredients in the forest. Oh, and that weird bird from earlier might have an egg or two. The chicken? Any cooking object. Interact with any place cooking object to bring up the cooking screen. It doesn't matter which one. You have to learn at least one recipe before you're able to access cooking. Right click on one to do so. Oh, okay. Every cooking object has its own set of cooking cards. You can switch between them and the screen. Higher level cooking objects will yield more cards. Oh, whoa, what's going on? Cooking cards are either for ingredients or for fuel. Some ingredient cards do not need fuel. Oh, okay. Go to the recipe book and pick a recipe, then pick the appropriate card from your deck. Put down a card in a cooking slot. <laughs> what? Place the ingredient in the occupied cooking slot from your inventory. Oh, okay. Some cards require fuel to function, so make sure you place a fuel card in any empty slot. Place fuel in the occupied fuel slot from your inventory. Click the cook button and wait for your food to be ready. Oh, did he check out? He's still here. It said he checked out. Place your trap card face down, yes. He checked out, but he's still here. <laughs> Great, best stay ever. I already booked another stay in advance for the next year's vacation. <laughs> okay. You're still here though. Can you leave, please? His spirit left. Yeah, I guess so. He's just... I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, I can learn my... Let me learn my recipes. I didn't know I had to right-click. There we go. I don't know why it keeps moving my screen back up when I click. So it's kind of a real-time management then. Management of the the inn. Alright. I guess the weather's pretty bad, huh? Well, let's try... There's my other guest. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck anywhere. Oh, I see. Boil? Roast. Oh, so we have to... Raw strawberry. Strawberry bowl. Oh, I guess that just requires a... Boiled egg. Oh, okay. And I guess I need fuel. So, 
Let's go grab stuff from the chicken. <laughs> He's still here. <laughs> it's so weird. This is kind of neat. I like this. It, it definitely needs polish, but I do like it. It's it's pretty interesting. Cook a strawberry bowl. How do you, how does one cook a strawberry bowl? I don't think that needs any cooking. Okay, chicken, what you got here? I didn't talk to you yet. Ipswich. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you here before. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Beckon the uncharted. I've been known to occasionally look very far away in the distance, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> no? I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. If you think these woods are young, you're greener than the crudest sapling. There is nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. Okay. Ugh, fine. Just look in my little cart if you want to buy something. But no garbage. I'm not falling for that garbage squirrel's tricks again. Okay, bird. Um. Oh, he has eggs. I wonder if there's another way to get eggs besides buying it from him. It would be nice if I just clipped the egg and it just went into um, my inventory instead of me having to move it over. I guess I should buy more fuel, huh? I'm not quite sure how the fuel works because I got some money from the guy who checked out. <laughs> I don't know why he liked to stay so much. He spent the entire time just looking at a wall, so. To each his own, I guess. I guess I'll buy some bread and I'll also buy some cheese while I'm here. Just because. Is this butter? Why is butter so expensive? Although I guess butter is expensive in real life. Cheese. Build him into the wall. <laughs> yeah. I should. Then it will be then this will become a horror game, you know? It'll become a spooky game. That's right, I'm sure the devs will fix that <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I'm sure they'll fix it. Okay. I'm, I think I have enough corn, right? I don't know if I should salvage all these things. I feel like I don't need the materials, but... Um, yeah, there's lots of buildings I can build, too. And that I can build in eventually, I guess. He's just walking around in the rain. All right, he's still here! <laughs> okay, let's... Let's see. So, so how do I do this? Boiled egg. Um... Boil. Let's put the eggs in there. Oh, can I put... How do I just put one? One egg. And... Fuel? Just one fuel, I guess? I don't know. Cook. Yeah, this needs, like... It needs sound effects or something while you're doing the cooking. It would be more... It would be more immersive that way, I think. It's just quiet right now. Yeah, you got a boiled egg. Okay. Cook a mashed potato. Mashed potatoes. Do I have mashed potatoes? There we go. Oh, I need a boiled potato. I wonder if they can make it like Minecraft, where you can click a button just to pick one off the stack instead of having to hit shift. That would be nice. Because right now I'm hitting shift and clicking to get just one item from the stack. Okay, so mashed potatoes is not just boiling a potato, alright? You need to add the butter and some herbs to make it really tasty. Maybe a little bit of sour cream. Not just potato. 
That's a low level mashed potato if you just do that. Wait, can I not? Oh, that's kind of annoying too. They need a way for me to just click the item and it just goes into my inventory. That'll make it easier. Um, and what else do I need to make? Strawberry bowl. Does that require anything? Just a strawberry. Okay, it's raw. That makes sense. Do I just need one strawberry? Let's see. One strawberry does not make a strawberry bowl, okay? But well, let's see what it does. Oh, it did. The strawberries magically multiplied. Cool. Alright. So we got everything. This is interesting because it's all happening real time. So, like, they're all walking around doing stuff while I'm doing my thing. It's kind of interesting. Well, one of them is walking around. The other one's become a ghost, apparently. Did you cook those three meals I asked for? Yep, they smell great. <laughs> Bear noises. Yeah. Scrumptious. Make sure you put them in your serving table so guests don't die of malnourished malnourishment. <laughs> Believe me, it's not worth the paperwork. Okay. You've seen some things, haven't you, Granny? Alright, so... Oh, I have two here. Um, that's, not a that's not a lot of options. <laughs> Boiled egg and mashed potatoes. Alright. Um, what else do you want me to do? You're doing so great. I'm very proud. I think you got the basics down. Now it's all about consistency. The suckers. What? The guests are going to keep coming, so you'd better make sure you can keep up with their demands. Remember, the needs of the many will always give the best ratings. Oh, and here's a bunch of stuff for you to craft. You're going to need it. Lounge fireplace. Lounge bookcase. Lounge sofa. Lounge chair. Spice shelf. Fridge, dining table. Oh, okay. Well, let's just, just take everything. And something extra to cook for your guests. No better way to someone's heart than through their stomach, you know. Goodbye, Cubby. Hope to see you again soon. Oh. oh, is that it? Is that done? Thank you. Thank you for playing the Baron Breakfast demo. That's pretty freaking cool of you. The quest line is now complete, but you can keep playing. Build up your cabin and make money. There's more to discover, including the lounge, a special type of room, plus more objects to build. Cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna play a little bit longer, obviously. Um, but this is this is a very interesting concept. I like it. Um, let's. Why don't we just build everything that we can? We might as well. Um, I guess special is lounge. Yeah. Maybe we can put the lounge up here. Okay, wait, I don't like that it's sticking out there. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like that. Put the door here. There we go. The lounge requires lounge chairs, sofas, and bookshelves. This is this is really cool. I like it. And if it once it's like opened up, um why did it move me all the way there? It'll be really interesting about how big you can make this place, you know? Put a bathroom up here. And a... Uh, what else can I build? I guess another dining hall upstairs. This is cool. I'm very impressed. It's a very narrow hallway here, but... And I like I like that this demo is not time. Thank you very much, devs, for not making this a time demo. I appreciate that. And there's actually a lot that I can experiment with, which is cool. Um, let's, let's just finish up the, the rooms up here, shall we? I'm pretty sure the gameplay loop is is going to be different uh, once we unlock the full game, but... 
Okay, so let's... What can we build? Um, build a nicer bed, I suppose. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, hold on. Um, <laughs> oh, I have I have inventory slots. Okay, uh, let's use my items here. My recipes. Is there a storage place? Hi, Nana. Welcome. It is a bear. Thanks for coming in. How are you doing today? This game is so cute. It's so cute. This It's a demo, so it's still rough around the edges, but very cute game. There's one in the game, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Where was I going? Are you stuck? I'm gonna take a nap. All right. What did I just build? I forgot already. Oh, a bedroom. Well, why did I build a bed? Oh, so I can make a better bed. There's no serving table. Well, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh, why is that over there? Huh? Weird. Nope. You tease. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing okay? I'm doing pretty good today. This has been a lot of fun, honestly. Can I put two beds in here? No. Can I replace this bed? Ah, yes. With a nicer bed. Oh, it's not really a nicer bed. It's kind of the same. It's still kind of patchworky. Why is this off to the side now? That's so weird. Yeah, it's, it's floating over here. <laughs> what is, what is this? Why do I have a floaty bed? Did I break it? Oh, there. No, it's still there. <laughs> I broke it. Okay, let's just let's just ignore that floating bed. Um, okay, what do I want to accomplish? I want to set up the lounge. Let's set up the lounge. How do I... Can I store these things anywhere? Yeah, I definitely broke this bed. Oh, I'm like... <laughs> I totally broke it. I'm creating multiple beds. Can I just like... Can I... Let's see. I broke it. I broke the game, everyone. Now there's two beds. <laughs> It's alright. It's alright. It's still a demo. It's okay. I'm not going to complain. I just somehow now have a million beds. I wonder if there's a way to like throw things away. What should the scene do with it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> beds. Okay, well, I was going to try to finish the lounge, but I guess I broke the game, so... Maybe that's not going to happen. <laughs> I think I broke it. Oh, my inventory's full. There's got to be a way to get rid of stuff. Well, if there is, I don't I don't know how to do it. Well, okay. I think <laughs> I think we've seen a lot of the game. So, you know, I've been playing it for 2 hours. Um my impressions. So, 
this is really cool. I like this. This is a good idea. I'm glad they put this demo out here. I hope they will listen to feedback from people about it because I think it's a really awesome concept. There's obviously still some bugs they need to work out, but the overall concept is great. You know, you come here and you... They probably have to flesh out the story a little bit more just to immerse me a little bit more into this. Like, the talking bear is really adorable. He's super cute. I don't know what happened to our friends that we came with. They're still somewhere outside. They just weren't a part of this whole thing. They're not coming here. But the whole concept is great, you know. It's kind of a mix of, like, Sims and... I guess I want to say my closest thing I can think of is like my time at Porsche because it's not exactly a farm sim game because you don't do any farming but I guess maybe a little bit of Animal Crossing too because you walk around and you gather ingredients and materials and you build things and but with the additional layer of okay yes you're coming you have to make sure that they're satisfied with their stay so they pay you money and you get you can get money and improve your resort and make it better I like that there's two types of currency, like there's the garbage and there's the money that you can use for the different merchants. So it's it's a it's a good concept. It just needs a little polish. You know, there's obviously some bugs going on here with like these these beds that are just floating in the air. Um, and my guest who has become he has become part of the hotel. He's a a ghost now. So he already checked out, but he's still here. So his 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 spirit checked out so he's still just here staring at the wall so and i'm not sure what happened to my other guests he's gone too and it's freezing cold in this place apparently it's eight degrees celsius um oh yeah they both checked out already so i you know i like the i really like the it's interesting these are all um look there's a there's a zombie like dude here <laughs> it would be cool too if they diversified the guests a little bit more and made them look a little different that would be kind of interesting um and have some f some uh lady guests too they're all men so um or even some animals that come in to stay that would be kind of neat but it's a cool concept it's it's what is that other one where you have to like cook food for people too and you have to be fast about it i forget what it's called Whoa, that was a lot of stuff. I don't know what all that was. It looks like I declined a whole lot of requests. But it should be all men all the time. Oh my goodness. We have to have a diverse selection of, of guests <laughs> in the hotel. They should be all bears. They should invite these, these just the, the bears to come in here. The bear animals to stay at the hotel. <laughs> This is really cool. I like it. It's it's a lot of fun. Let me switch over to just chatting so I can just chat with you folks a bit. I think this is really cool. Um, they just need to polish it up a bit, but the concept is great. The execution is pretty good. So, um, can I save my game? Oh, I'm supposed to hit F5. I haven't saved for the whole time. Y'all didn't remind me to save my game. Although I also just saved the glitchy beds. So, but I like... I like this a lot. I'm looking forward to the final release. So let's, can I just exit? Put to menu. Your progress will be saved. Oh, nice. Oh, let's let's look at this. Ahoy and welcome to the Baron Breakfast Alpha demo. We've been working on it for a while and despite our best efforts and cute faces, we're still a tiny handful of people and this is still an alpha. The demo might be missing some of the niceties that finished games enjoy like proper balance or no horrible crashes. You might encounter bugs, inconsistencies, or otherwise things that don't work as you or we would expect. Usually playing through the game at a casual pace without trying to break it or limit test should yield a nice time. What more could you want? Money? I'm not giving you money. That's not how it works, bud. You got it all backwards. What do you mean I'm out of line? You're out of line. Please leave us feedback on Discord and a wishlist on Steam if we tickled your fancy. I did wishlist this game already, so you've already sold me on this, devs. Thanks for checking us out. It's actually pretty freaking cool of you. Well, you're welcome. That was a lot of fun. Look at this title screen. It's so cute. It's very orange. It's making me look orange. But yeah, so that was Baron Breakfast. The cops are coming. What did you do? I did nothing. I did nothing at all. <laughs> okay, let's let's switch over to 
just chatting. That was a heck of a lot of fun, y'all. I was very pleasantly surprised by this. Very pleasantly surprised. It's... I'm a huge stickler for casual games, and when you start adding things like crafting, and being able to build a house and put objects in the room, it's it really speaks to me. So, my my wishes for this are that they will one flesh out the story because it's really cute that we're playing as a bear who doesn't know how to talk to people. But if they flesh that out a little bit more, and they they give us some context, I think that would be really great. It doesn't have to be a lot. This doesn't seem like it needs to have a story story, but if they could flesh it out a bit more, that would be that would be really nice. And it would be nice to know what happened to my friends. Um, I came to the I came to this place with two friends and they just they just disappeared. So I mean one of them's still standing by the gateway and the other one is just gone, so they're they're not there but I, I wonder if they'll play a bigger part in the full game they got eaten i bet i bet that bird got eaten because he was so rude he probably got eaten <laughs> this is really good the things i liked too um like i mentioned the crafting system is fun they do need to do lots of quality of life improvements though but i'm, I'm no I'm, I'm sure that they'll look into it once they have the final game but there's lots of quirks with the inventory and with the crafting system that need to be polished it'd be nice to have more sound effects you know more um more feedback sound feedback on things because that's that's missing a lot but other than that it's great i think i can see how this would become a very satisfying gameplay loop it would be cool if there was some I don't know, I think for the demo they intentionally gave me a lot of resources, a lot of money, a lot of garbage to start off with. So I'm, I'm guessing that in the full game it won't be as... It'll be a more gradual progression towards towards where I was. So, But it was cool, I like it. I'm excited to see what it's going to be like when it's fully released. I hope it does come out this year, that would be nice. Um, it doesn't have a date on it. The only thing it says it's on Steam is 2021. It is also coming to Switch, which is exciting. This would be an excellent Switch game. Just that kind of cozy vibe, casual, playing on the, you know, playing on handheld mode. I can totally see myself playing this game in handheld mode while lying in bed, you know, before I go to sleep. That's, this would be a good game for that. So, good job. What is the name of the, Gummy Cat. Gummy Cat is the name of the developers. Very cute logo. It's a cat butt, basically. Very good job, Gummy Cat. I'm very excited for this. If you guys want to check it out, it is on Steam. The demo is free. It's not timed, as you see here, so which is really nice. I don't like timed demos, like the Resident Evil 8 demo. I didn't like that it was timed, you know, because it's you kind of have to rush. You can't look around. Um, I'd rather have the features just kind of like how this was. It was just limited, so you can only do so much, but you're not timed. It's being timed is a little, you know, stressful because for me, if I want to look at a demo, I want to try and do everything that I can and not have to rush through it and miss things. So very good. I'm impressed. Very impressed. And it took it took the full two hours. So I was worried that I was going to have to switch games, but it's it worked out really well. So thank you for joining me everyone it was really fun this is i'm looking forward to this a lot and you know it is e3 season so we're seeing demos dropping all over the place i do want to check out the i can't even remember the name of it again i just looked at the name of the final fantasy origin story game demo that dropped it's apparently working now so i want to check that out too i don't know if i'm going to do it on stream or not but we'll see i do want to see it so but yeah e3 e3 time is very exciting so that's great. Stranger in Paradise, thank you. Thank you, Nino. Yeah, that's what I want to look at. I have I have high hopes, I guess I could say. But at the same time I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna wish for too much for that, you know. I'm already not a fan of the design of the protagonist, so I hope they change that a little bit. E3 is like Christmas for us. It is. I thought E3 was alright this year. I, I know a lot of folks were disappointed with E3 overall, but considering we didn't get one last year, and 
it's been switched over entirely to a digital event i wasn't expecting a whole lot so the xbox show was fantastic so many games the wholesome direct also had lots of just games to show which is great and nintendo nintendo had a lot of games to show too not a lot of new stuff all around except maybe the wholesome direct but still exciting things to look forward to which is what i like to see at e3 so i was happy grab some water it was really it was really good in my opinion more than i was expecting so i'm not i'm not disappointed but you know it's good I still have to think about what I want to do because I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but I somehow blew past 150 followers. So thank you everybody for following and being a part of this community. I'm just very, I feel very lucky to have that many people who want to keep watching my streams and seeing my content. So thank you very much. I think I'm up to 160 now on my way to 200. So thank you everyone. I'm really happy about that. If you do really like my stuff and you want to support me, a subscribe would be really cool too. I have some emotes that Oceanity drew. She's such a talented artist and she's coming into her own really with the art that she's doing. I'm going to ask her to do some more emotes and graphics for me too. So um, she's not even in here, I think. I think she's streaming right now, but um, I'm going to shout her out because I always need to because she's a very important part of my Twitch presence today. So if you haven't yet, go check her out. But the, but yeah, this was, this was a, uh, this was a fun stream. So I'm going to see if anyone else is on that we can support. Anyone else is playing anything. Um, but yeah, this was really great. I had a lot of fun. I'm probably going to stream. I'm not sure what I'm going to stream um, going forward because oh, it was a joy to watch. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you being here. You know, I'm going to shout you out too, Gamer Wolf, because I know you just started streaming, right? Um, I didn't even know you did. And I think you were playing Dragon Quest XI. Oh, you were playing Monster Sanctuary. I missed the stream then. When did you stream last? Monster Sanctuary is pretty fun. That's another indie game that I really like. Oh, you played on Monday. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to stream next. I have to really think about it. I'm thinking the next game I'm going to do fully on stream is probably going to be Skyward Sword HD, I'm thinking, once it finally comes out. So that one's going to be a game I think I'm going to play on stream entirely with y'all, which will be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. And um, I think the next YouTube series I'm going to do, which I'm excited and scared about, is Silent Hill, the original Silent Hill on PlayStation. So that'll be fun. I'm not sure when, when I'm going to start that, but I have some more time uh, coming up that I can start working on that, so that'll be fun. It'll be a YouTube exclusive. I'm not going to stream it, but it'll be on YouTube, so that'll be fun. I, I really enjoyed making my Resident Evil series, so, and that one got some good response. So I think, I think people like to see me play scary games because of the way that I don't normally play scary games. You're enjoying it? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's almost like, you know, Pokemon like but there's like the Metroid element in it exploration and everything and it's that's a really cool a really cool feature okay let me let me check my dashboard here and see who's who's doing stuff tonight I could raid Oceanity again, but she's going to be like, why do you keep raiding me? It's because you're the coolest. <laughs> right here. <laughs> it appears to be made really well from the short time I've been playing. It is. It's really good. I unfortunately didn't finish it because I got really distracted by other games, but it has a very cool concept and execution. So it's really good. It's much better than i was expecting so it's it's that was really fun i haven't finished it though so if you do finish it let me know what you think i don't think i'll be able to get back to it i finally finished dragon quest 11 so to the extent of my satisfaction because there's so much to do in the game that i think i did as much as i want to do and i think i'm done so 
because there's so much to do even when you think you're done there's more to do so i finally had to just say you know what i want to move on to other things so i'm just gonna call it here but it was really good if you have a lot of time to sink into a game yeah dragon quest 11 but i don't have enough time to like get through all of the extra content there's a lot but i did get to learn a lot of the lore that i wanted to learn about you know in, in the the extra content so i don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't gotten there yet but it's 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 really good go kai hi welcome you're coming in right at the end <laughs> thank you for coming though you don't even have your full party yet yeah i so my file is like a hundred hours i think now it's a lot so we'll see I don't think I'm going to go back to it at this point. I spent a lot of time in it and I'm happy with it. But yeah, just, I don't have more time. But yeah, Gokai, I'm, I am going to put my stream archive up on YouTube in a couple days. So if you want to check out what you missed, the, the game is really cute. The Baron Breakfast, the demo I was playing. It has a lot of potential. So I'm looking forward to it when it finally releases. It's going to be really good. So it's just what I wanted from a game. Almost exactly. I, I hope they slow the pace down of the game just a little bit too. It moved a little quickly, but if they slow down the pace a little more, or maybe if you can adjust the setting to make it less frantic, uh, that would be good. Too. I mean, it's not frantic, but if the time passes slower, that would be good. But yeah. How are you doing tonight, Gokai? Having a good night, I hope. You wanted to say hi. Thank you for coming in to say hi. I appreciate that. Any support is is well welcome. Well welcome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll be heading over to Oceanity again. I hope she doesn't mind. <laughs> I don't. No one else is playing now, so I can go check her out and see. What she's up to she is playing more legend of zelda oh she's playing the wind waker today she does lots of oh she's doing wind waker randomizer oh you're playing the metroid franchise starting with the first one wow the first one's kind of rough just letting you know <laughs> the first one's a little rough so keep at it it can be it can be a little bit tough Super Metroid, I think, is where it peaked for me. At least the 2D, the 2D game. So excited we're getting another 2D Metroid. You have no idea. That was like when I, I literally gasped when I saw that announcement. And I, it takes a lot to surprise me. So I was like, oh my god, really? Frustrated with the Dread series. Hmm. I'm trying to think. My favorite Metroid is probably... You know, I really like the Metroid Prime games, though. I have to say. The Dread situation... Situ <laughs> you mean the, uh, the... The special edition? Not being available for anyone, basically. And the Amiibo. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I've come to expect that from Nintendo, though, unfortunately. They do that a lot. They make something that they know everyone's been waiting for. They know there's going to be a lot of hype around it. Like, we haven't had a 2D Metroid in so long. And they they, they, <laughs> they don't make enough of the product. It's just, I don't understand. They could make so much money if they just made enough. I think what they have to do, too, is limit people to buy only, like, one... I, I know sometimes people want to buy for their friends and stuff, but if you have scalpers coming in buying like 10 sets of it, that's not good. So. But they just need to make more and they need to limit like the amount that people can buy. And they need to be like, okay, you can only buy one for yourself. Can't buy 10 copies that you're going to resell for triple the price online. 
Oh, you went to your GameStop and they said online only. Oh. Yeah, I don't... I don't understand. I really don't. The same thing happened with uh, Switch when the Switch first came out. It was almost impossible to get a Switch. Now they're everywhere, but... This one is different because it's a limited edition, so I don't know if they're gonna, like, even make any more. They probably aren't. So... But yeah, unfortunately, Gokai, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people on my Twitter that are just like, I wanted to try and get it, but I couldn't. There's a couple who were lucky to get it. You know, just by, by random luck, but... It shouldn't be that way, honestly. If I was in charge of the Nintendo sales area, I would be like, you guys make as much as you can as this because we're going to roll in the dough when we release this and announce it because everyone's going to go crazy over it and be excited. Pre-orders and make it online home. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, Chicky's selling you for... That's cool. The 3DS with his Samus returns for $80. That's a great deal. I really liked my 3DS. I still have it, but I haven't played it very much lately, so. I'm weird because I'm not a huge fan of handheld gaming. I don't know why. Like, I like having a screen to play on, even though it's not as, what is the word? You can't just play anywhere, but I don't know. I just like sitting on a chair and play, playing a game on a screen. I, I guess I'm old fashioned, but I'm, I, I'm not a huge fan of the handheld systems, so. Yeah, Chicky is awesome. Let's I should I should shout him out too. He's not streaming right now, but let's give him a shout out. Wait, is that his He has a dash after his name, right? Okay. <laughs> Good thing I shouted the right person out. Good. I wasn't sure. Yeah, no one else is coming online. I'm probably going to raid Oceanity again. <laughs> Your 3DS is so neglected. Yeah, the Switch... Well, honestly, I haven't played my Switch all that much lately. I've been playing my PS4 because I've been playing... I play... Well, Dragon Quest XI, obviously, was taking up a lot of my time. So I was playing a lot of Dragon Quest XI. And then I... Before that, I was playing the Immortals game, Phoenix Rising, on my PS4. So my PS4 was getting a lot of attention lately. My Switch has not really been touched all that much, so... Which is odd, because I was playing a lot on my Switch. Oh, Yum Salad? I can go check them out. Let me go see. Yum salad. Chickies in your mutual? Cool. Inclusive show with... Oh, cool. Stream variety will not disappoint. Please have a secret. I always... Not that I don't trust you, but I always like to look at the... Um, the streamer I'm going to rate. I like to look at their profile first and see what kind of stuff they do. Very cool. Okay, they just came back. They were on a break, so let me. Yeah, let's go raid. Let's go raid him. Why not? Can meet some new people. I'll let him know that you recommended him. <laughs> but let me think. Is there anything else I need to say before we go? I think I'm good. Um, Again, thank you all for being here to check out the Bear and Breakfast demo with me. That was a lot of fun. Definitely going to buy it when it comes out. Probably will get it on Switch, though, because I like playing stuff like that on the Switch. Um, I don't know when I'm going to stream again this week. It probably will be either tomorrow or Friday, but I don't know what I'm going to play yet because I'm in between games now, so I'm going to have to find something to play. But, um, yeah, I have to figure it out. I'm not sure. I almost want to play a Zelda game again before, but then again, Skyward Sword HD is coming out next month, I think, so. But I'm not sure. I'll figure something out. 
it'll be good. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll see. This is usually when I stream, like, around this time, every on weeknights at least. I don't know about weekends. Weekends, it really depends. I, I'll stream on Saturday or Sunday whenever I'm free. But then that's usually way earlier in the day. So I stream, like, around noon my time or 1 p.m. my time, which is, like, 4 p.m. Pacific, um, 6 p.m. Eastern. So weekends are usually easier because I know for most of you, the time I stream at night is really late for a lot of you. So I know the earliest it is is possibly like 10 p.m. for anyone who's on the west coast so i know i know it's late for most of you so i can't i don't blame you if you can't make it in but um i do appreciate you coming so oh and he's playing resident evil village okay we're definitely gonna go check him out it's worth the late night well thank you i appreciate you coming i appreciate you being here it's always nice to see all of you it's funny because I'm just I'm just looking at the stream. I I'm I like Resident Evil Village a lot. I think it's one a game I definitely want to play at some point. I'm not a, I wasn't huge into horror games, but now I'm starting to get more into them. And Village just looks so much fun. I love the the concept and the the setting and everything. The setting is really like it leans fantasy to me, which I really dig that. So even though it's a little spooky, <laughs> Just a little spooky. Uh, I, I like it a lot. So, all right, enough talking. I'm gonna go raid uh, Yum Salad. So thank you, Gokai, for the recommendation. Definitely excited to check him out playing Village, Resident Evil Village. So I'll see you folks next time. Um, thank you again for being here. Take care until I see you again. Good night.